Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Tiny and it's episode 2 of Time Survival. Welcome back. Last time we've, got, we've done several things like fighting the dragon or going to the nether. And today I just want to start the episode of Ingaz Rain some potion around so that we can actually start draining this ocean monument. And that's what we're going to do. And I've rained some redstone and also some TNT. And I forgot to bring some blocks. Hopefully this will be enough because I want to explode, explode these blocks so that I can get in the ocean man man because if we get super close, okay that was wicked, that was the other garden. If you get super close then you can't actually break these blocks anymore. Let me just take my pickaxe and try to get out of here. Okay, let's do this fast. Okay, haven't got mining fatigue yet. Here he is. Now well, let me just fight this dragon. Okay, I took out the first dragon, uh, the first other garden, and it grows pretty fast. Now let me show you how you can actually remove these blocks and get in the uh, next to the other other garden. You know, there are three other garden. I just took out one of them. One of them. Now I have to take out the other one, but there's two remaining. And there is an issue because I have mining fatigue. And uh, how you can solve this problem, I guess, just place in TNT and just place block all around and put a resin block and just get out of here. I guess this is an easy way to do this. And now you can get to the elder garden, which a bunch of garden. Now let me just kill that dude, I guess. Took out the second one, that was really difficult to do, and right now I've just went somewhere that's really bizarre. Look at this thing, this I've just generated in a really bizarre way. So you can see there, it's normal, but here it's just weird, I guess. And now I can't steal mine, I guess I'll have to do the blowing, oh okay, I'm taking damage, the blowing technique again just like this and and what no get out of here please oh we actually didn't need it to do that because technically technically we're in oh okay this is so bizarre whatever let me just go out and try to find a way oh a sponge room and this one is super where I guess we can't pick this thing up for the time being. We'll have to wait for the mining fatigue to go away. So we'll have to just kill the all the garden first, I guess. And I can't seem to find that dude. Jeez. Okay, let's just go and try to get to oh here he is. Jeez. Whatever, let me just kill this dude. I took the third one out and that one was pretty easy to take out. And now we have to wait for one minute to get this mining fatigue away and we'll have to drink a potion. And I'm getting attacked, yes. I think that when you're getting attacked there is some bubble. So that's a great way to know when these dudes are attacking you. Please get away, I don't need you, Gordon. Just get out of here. Get right. I'll have to make a farm out of here really soon. Mm, I guess in the latest snapshot they've just changed the gold and now I can take all the gold out. And I've just found one of these. I don't know what this thing is doing right here. I think there's normally some drowns spawning in here. And I don't know if drowns keep spawning in runes. If it's the case, probably we can do a drown farm. I don't know. I don't think it's possible to do this. Uh, whatever, let me just take these box out. And after that, just take the gold because the gold is really important. Now, let me just take my shovel and just shovel around. And I think I'm lagging a little bit. I think I will have to turn down some useless stuff on OBS because currently I'm having a little bit of like issue it's not dramatic that hey it's better to just don't have any lag at all and it's great to not have mining fatigue because 
Oh yeah, it's mining fatigue is super annoying. And this gold is really nice too. And in the future, I would really like to build a gold farm. Now, I would just have to try and find more of these um, sponge room. So, let me just continue searching for some sponge. There are a tiny bit of these areas so that we can actually fit in the farm. It is not here. And now, I'll have to find, I'll have to find a way. I guess our storage room is up there. I think we can make a staircase just by here. That will be something that we're going to do right now boom 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 okay this is not how it's supposed to be like let me just put this thing and do, let me just make a staircase and start gardening some stuff and planning out how we're going to do it uh, base i just want to have like my base hold on or we can probably work around uh, area around the sponge, uh, the ocean monument, so that we can already start having some farm. Because I just want to have farms already, and I don't want to have some farms that I'll have to take out in the future. Because I would like to just get farms all in one place. I don't know if that thing will be possible. Well, whatever. Let me just take out this ocean monument. Or probably we can already plan out the ocean monument without draining it. I mean, like having like the block around how it's going to be spaced out with some sand or some not sand but with some dirt for the time being. I don't think this scaffolding block can do that because the limit is only seven blocks and the ocean monument is something like um, 64 blocks. I don't really know. So now we can already start planning out stuff and just knowing where we can already start making farms. I think that's a decent idea. That would be really cool. There are a tiny bit of this area so that we can actually fit in the farm. It is not here and now I'll have to find, I'll have to find a way. I guess our storage room is up there. I think we can make a staircase just by here. That will be something that we're going to do right now boom 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 okay this is not how it's supposed to be like let me just put this thing and do, let me just make a staircase and start gardening some stuff and planning out how we're going to do it okay i finally finished making the how do we call it the sugarcane slash bamboo farm and it's all finished now we can on earth am i going to get into the chest here we go now i have the storage system all in place it's just this little chest and we have like the whole works and work i hope because if this one just grow up it's going to push up all the sugarcane or the bamboo now let me just form the bamboo first after that, I guess we can go and find some sugarcane. Hopefully, I already have some sugarcane. It doesn't look like I do. No. I'll have to find some sugarcane. Hopefully, that's not going to take a while. And I guess with that, we can just have a working farm, I guess. A decent farm. Not a decent. This is just a small, temporary, temporary farm. In the future, we'll have to upgrade this farm. But for the time being, I would really like to go and find some villagers and bring them somewhere out here. And I'm going to take a break and start recording next week because I have school. I can't record what I'm when I have school, and I will have to pre-record a bunch of video because I don't have really a lot of time um, when I'm going to school, so that I can keep posting for like a long time so that yeah we can just have a bunch of videos and i just i just don't wanna post a video this week so that i can just pre-record a bunch of these videos i just have two hours to pre-record three videos that's not that's really simple to do i think because those videos only make out like five to six minutes long and I just have to do two scripts. I've already finished scripting the first one. But whatever. 
actually I'm just going to take a break for like one week planning out what we're going to do all that stuff doing my homework and just trying to have some great great grades but yeah whatever let me just take a break and yeah see you next week I've actually placed in the bamboo and I still haven't took my break actually and I just want to see this thing quick to action watching this thing when it's going to go in action and that will be probably soon because this thing is growing really fast this is like five not five seconds but like one minute and we're already at 34 bamboo and I just now got all the bamboo in place and I'll have to get the sugarcane but I don't know somewhere I can find some sugarcane and this thing is about to grow please can grow okay well what I'm going to do next week we're going to actually try and find a villager I don't know if I said that before in this episode but would I would like to have a villager breeder and trading coal I believe that I've said that in this episode and in the next few episodes I would really like to have a beacon so that we can take out that ocean monument and drain that ocean monument after that that would be absolutely fantastic and I really like the glass texture they all look awesome this wood one I don't know but it looks decent actually it's not bad I don't know why people are saying these stuff I are bad but I don't think they are bad actually but I do really like the new texture and I would like this thing to quick in action please just work or we can just manually replace the bamboo can we do that because this thing is slow here we go in action and I actually wanted to see how this thing works like and it seems like we've lost quite a lot of bamboo let me check out how many we have in here and after that and check out after that how many we got lost let me just go and say that thing two one three four five when we have a full harvest we actually will lose five of these I guess I don't know if that is great or not great for this finding I have no idea but hey it's just a temporary farm so I don't really care whatever let me just take a break and after that see you next week and we'll do more stuff and I'll plan out a few stuff I guess it turns out that I found one of these villager outposts and I've suffered a lot what I mean a lot let me show you Jeez, this is a lot of arrows, and I would like to change this skin too, but I don't know how to do that. Whatever. Yeah, I've just suffered a lot. Like, I would really like to move up to just rest a little bit because these dudes just keep spawning. And it's cool because I found one of these actually. Oh, I was scared that was a pillager. And it just had one of these buildings. And I've so excited Zuma Void video in it they were uh neither and golem in here okay they found me it looked like these dudes actually can find you when you break out one stuff i think that's a new game mechanic i've never seen that before these dudes are really smart they are like so tight smaller than the skeletons because they just keep uh they actually get far away from you as you can see that dude there were no way for him to find me but because I think this is a new game mechanic for the pleasure, I don't know if they are going to add this for every mob. But it looks like pleasure can actually detect you. Before they had to see you with their actually, I don't know how, I forgot how to explain that. But I think it's called AI. But these AI are a little bit more professional. Not really professional, but they are really 10 times well made. And I'm really sorry that ha I have this voice, but I feel a little bit sick currently. It was absolutely cold in here. Normally, this dude shouldn't be uh, able to find me, but because I think this is a new AI, they can find me before actually uh, Bob. If a mob could see you, they will 
the only way that about well, could see you it's between the uh, AI and it's when they actually see you I can't show you currently the hitbox because you know I don't know how to do that I just see that video and I did that accidentally but I don't know correctly how I can do that but if you turn that on there's a red line that show you what that mod can actually see and okay that villager output is really cool actually people can cool leave out uh, those villager outputs I mean pillager or villager I don't know which one is the right one outputs because yeah they are uh, because it's really well made it is absolutely nice and if you haven't checked out uh, any snapshot video you should definitely subscribe to Exizuba Void or Sisuba Void because he actually uh, just posts out er every single snapshot that just come out so that is a great channel to just go and check out if you want to get some news that is how I know and I believe that today there there is a new snapshot it's not out yet it is actually Wednesday today I haven't done basketball that's why I am at home whatever let me just go and continue searching some village uh, to actually uh, just find a villager and I'm really tired of this project because I'll have to go back to that village and get back a new villager and we just have some bizarre glitch okay I'm falling this is, this is absolute this is absolutely weird yeah, let me just find a village. Okay, I found another uh, village. And this one is super normal. Yeah, that was perfect timing. I just had that uh, right at the moment that I actually broke that. And we have some village. I know that is not true. And I'm really sorry, but currently I'm so sick. And I'm still going to school because uh, I'm not that sick. I'm actually sick by I just keep us. Uh, Sneezing. So this other feeling all right currently. Hopefully that will be just better tomorrow. But I just found a uh, village again. Here we go. And this time it have a blacksmith. And I haven't got really some really useful stuff with the blacksmith, except for these apples. I don't know if they are actually useful or not because. The separation of an apple is not that great. And currently, we could actually. What can we do? Oh, actually, I'm stupid. I just have to transport these village, these villager. I need three of these. Let me take a screenshot. And the hell they just broke? Oh, no, it's just right here. Thank you. Oh, actually, I forgot to. And why is this thing not loading? This is weird. Why do I have a Steve hat? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let me just uh, take some of these villager away. And yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This is a quite big village. Uh, I don't know which design I'm going to use for the time being. I think the best design would be. Uh, for the time being, like having an easy to time, just using like those black, those brown smith villager, uh, brown coat, I mean, villager. Uh, so now they can farm, yeah, infinitely. And stuff. Oh, this just generated the, the weird way. Let me just harvest this thing. Let me just take out everything. And I have a bunch of these. Here. This will be useful in the future. Because I was a farm that uses like eight stack of wheat, but whatever. Let me just bring these dudes all the way back to our base. Look at what we just found. We found a uh, ocean ruin outside of the water. I don't know if that's normal. And also a bow and another ruin and some water pancakes. Jeez, this is so weird. Oh my god, so weird. How is this thing possible? This is so bizarre. Look at all these granite. So bizarre. Get wrecked. This is the most bizarre thing that I've ever seen in Minecraft. 
Oh no, actually they are more without bizarre with this thing. They are having some FPS drops. Jeez. This is weird. And after a lot of hard work, we got this village already placed. And there's a little bug. Unfortunately, I'm just spamming L2 button. I'm currently playing with a P PlayStation 4 controller. And you can hear that I keep play, uh, pressing L2 button. But it doesn't seem like this Voyager interface is opening up. And I'm really sorry for my voice. I've just said that a bunch of times. But unfortunately, it just look like I seem sick. I just hate when it's cold. I, I'm just always sick. That is so unfortunate. But whatever. Yeah, we got all of these three. I think this one is a cleric. That one is a uh, brown coat. And we have a barbarian. And that one is a farmer. And yeah, I guess I'm going to take a break and come back next week so that we can build a later greeting. I think I'll have to call this an episode. And in today, I've just finished making the villager breeder. I've recorded every single stuff I did for this thing. But unfortunately, I had a problem with OBS, so it haven't got saved. So now, it is not a big deal because actually, this video is something like 30 minutes. If I just put it in those clips, that will take out all the time. But hey, it's not really a problem, so yeah because I will just, the video will just have been longer, something like 40 minutes, and I was going for 24 minutes, but that's it. So, hope you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe for more videos like these. I'll be making a tutorial pretty soon about this villager reader, and yeah, and it's not really finished, you can also check out my other video if you like, but whatever, see you next time, have a nice day, goodbye.